Good evening, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the evening of Sunday, April 10th, 2022, sitting in for Paul Harvey this evening. Stand by for a special commentary. Mr. Harvey, uh, I know you're up there with the boss, and this commentary has to be done so I hope I make you justice by doing this commentary and your boss, the boss too up there. With further ado, here it goes. Good evening, Americans. This is your favorite alien sitting in for Paul Harvey this afternoon and evening. And would like to do a special commentary on the state of American slash human affairs today. As it relates to Justice Ketanji Jackson, who was confirmed as Associate Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court, succeeding retiring Justice Breyer. Last week, when that vote was done, it should have been a culmination of a person's achievements, but it wasn't. It tells you how bad your society is, both here in the United States and around the planet, but especially in America. Because for the last 245 or so years, you have ruled the meaning of what it is to be human on this planet. And today you have failed miserably on all kinds of accounts. Justice Jackson, I congratulate you on being confirmed for the wrong reasons, but still, you are Justice of the United States Supreme Court. And I'll get to the reasons why you got confirmed that are not valid to me. And I'll explain it why. To you Americans, you voted for awful presidents the last eight years. One terrible Republican and one awful Democrat which means that you hit the bottom of the barrel. And there is no way to go anymore, not even up. This will cost you extinction as a race, as a nation. And while you guys are getting extinct, you won't know why. And the reason of your extinction is as follows. Since I started my videos on YouTube, I've been telling you about my ancestral planet. Recently discovered by you guys, by the way. 3,000 light years away. That's my home planet right now. Adopted home planet. But my ancestral planet was another 1,000, uh, 1,200, 1,200 light years away. You guys have discovered it. Or what's left of it. Recently also, you called it an object you don't understand. That's because the solar system doesn't exist no more. It's what seven ounces of antimatter can do to a society in a solar system. There was 14 billion beings resembling you, kind of humanoids. We looked almost the same, but there were some differences. We had some organs you guys don't have. And we lived longer. Our day in our ancestral planet was 359 days. Yours is a little longer. Ours is a little longer in a new planet, 378 of your days. Our gravity was 0.98 of yours. Our gravity in a new planet is 1.02 of yours. So there's a little differences. And there was differences that caused us to live, leave our home planet. Like I told you in my other videos, the reason we left was because of the way of thinking which is similar to what you guys have here. You have let technology outpace your social structure. Therefore, you were a dangerous race. So was my ancestors. Except that they were more advanced than you guys were. 
you're still in your rudimentary fission atomic power. They had progressed to antimatter. 25 people didn't like what was going on. It took them 75 a year years to get organized, find a planet, use the technology that they had to get to the planet. And another 150 of your years living in a space station to make the planet livable for them. Okay? But 25 years after we left, our ancestral planet went boom. Over a disagreement. And the disagreement is kind of sketchy because the information we have was our ships were intercepting transmissions from the planet. We didn't want to associate ourselves with them because we left. But we carried their technology, their ancestral beliefs, and their way of behaving with changes that we were making to make it our way of being a civilization different from theirs. We gave up a lot. Religion, politics, greed, money, power, and pigmentations. There was 18 on my home planet, only four survived. You guys don't even have that many here. What do you have? Maybe six? That's all? Pigmentations that you guys have on this planet? And through your centuries, the African Americans have been relegated to the last place. Yes. Then you had the Indians of what you call the New World. You call them Indians because <laughs> some wrong way Corrigan guy named Columbus decided that he had reached the Indies. Uh, yeah. Hence, Indios. <laughs> so the Native Americans, as they've been known to know centuries later, were forever known as Indians and treated as such savages, according to everybody. And sometimes worse than the African Americans. And that's pretty bad if you treat the African Americans like you guys did with slavery. But you guys did it. You haven't changed a bit from the time of the Romans to now. You still look at the same things the same. And you don't realize that. Your technology has grown by leaps and bounds, yes. But your social structure hasn't. And it's your cause of your demise and your extinction within the next couple of years. Demise of the American system? Yeah. You caused that yourself. And you had a pretty good document there. And you had a guy that wrote it that understood the document was flawed. Thomas Jefferson wrote that your in your Declaration of Independence that all men are created equal, even though he knew that was not the case. And it shouldn't have been all men are created equal. It should have been all humans are created equal, which is not the case then. It's not the case now. It wasn't the case then for our ancestors, and we never figured that anybody's equal. But we had guarantees to live our lives the best way we could. You guys don't have that. What you call rights is terrible. It's eating you from the inside out. Thomas Jefferson knew that. And he also wrote in that document that you were endowed by your creator with certain inalienable rights. The supreme being only gave you one inalienable right. Free will. They gave it to us and they gave it to you. And this is why you messed up. Because you haven't used free will the right way. My ancestors didn't. 
and it cost them 14 billion lives in a whole solar system. In your case, it's just going to cost you a measly planet. But look at all the things that you have on this planet. Heck, the ancestral planet had a lot of beautiful stuff in it. It was like your planet. Similar in res some respects, different in others. We are similar to you in something different than others. We have some organs you don't have. We live longer than you. You guys live to be somewhere between 80 and 100, for the most part. My ancestors in their home planet will live to be maybe 150 to 200 years. In the last 1,500 of your years, their people that left of 500,000, our home planet, and found a new one, now live between 200 and 300 years, of your years, that is. Are we better than you guys are? In certain ways, yes, and others, no. Are we going to survive longer than you guys? Oh, yes. Because we have to change the prime directive that rules us, which you don't have. As you call it in Star Trek, prime directive. And that's what we call it where I come from. In our language, if you translate it, it is prime directive. Because the four pigmentations that left our planets regarded themselves as the same. Whether you look different, you're still the same being from that planet. And we founded a federation of 78 planets. And only seven are humanoid planets. The rest are other designations. Arboreals, reptiles, or what you call reptiles, uh, insectoids, and incorporeal beings. And the reason they're part of the Federation is because they adopted the same thinking we have. We are different, but we're the same. Beings trying to survive in a universe that's big, how big we don't know. So that is our case. And going back to Justice Jackson. Well, you got confirmed by people who don't know why. The people, the Democrats that voted for you, voted on party lines. The Republicans who voted against you voted on party lines. One, you're an African American. Two, your views and the Democratic views they don't like. Well, nobody likes the Republican views either. Those three Republicans that voted for you, I would like to know why. If they saw you as a human being that could do a good job as a justice of the Supreme Court, yay for them. But I don't think those three Republicans even saw you that way. Or the 40, uh, 50 Republicans that voted for you saw you that way. They just wanted to see you there to stick it to the Republicans. And those 47 Republicans, they just want to stick it to the Democrats. A united front, probably, they would say. There was nothing humane about this. There's nothing humane about your decision here in the Ukraine either. Because you got Vladimir Putin over in Russia that considers Ukraine not a nation, and he's vowing to put it out of existence and out of the map, to put the Ukrainians out of existence as they never existed. Wipe them out even if it takes him a few decades, and even if he's not allowed around, he should have his cohorts do the dirty work for him. And he's got plenty of those because of the way he thinks. And he's put the society in such a way that the way he thinks is the way to go. Is that what you think, Americans? And this is no reflection on Justice Jackson. 
Maybe she'll do a good job. And I put my hat to you, Justice Jackson. You got confirmed. But is it going to be a true confirmation or are you going to affirm the 40, the 50 Democrats that voted for you saying, we have to be a certain point of view here? Or are you going to go and say, the justice of this nation doesn't see liberals or conservatives, black or white, Asian or Latin, democracy or imperialism? It is up to you. Only you can make that determination. And you Republicans who voted against them, shame. Like I said in my other things, the United States and Europe are paper tigers. And sooner or later, China is going to take you over. Whether you like it or not, that's the way you guys have done it for the last seven decades. You guys chose this course. Therefore, Oblivion is in the whole human things. You only got less than 43 years to go, and your human race will cease to exist. And it's all your fault for not thinking the way you should have. We have to think like that for my universe because we don't know who we have out there. But we know one race we have up there. We've had three wars with them. We've lost millions and we killed millions. And have they changed? No. They're still as nasty as they were when they left this planet 270 million years ago. And they should be proud of themselves because they were a Saurian race among creatures that ruled this earth that were huge. And they evolved to a certain way of thinking. But no, they don't look at it that way. They look at this planet as being infested by parasites, i.e. you. And they want to destroy it because they don't want nobody else to have it since they can't have it. What a shame. Two races that occupied the planet at different times. And the Earth is a nice planet. I've grown in the 50 years I've been here to love it. And to see it in 2066 as a disastrous planet that nobody will live in it for millions of years to come is kind of crazy. But that's the way humans left it. Anyway, this is your favorite alien sitting in for Paul Harvey. Good day.